Example one has to do with identifying angle pairs. So they didn't really teach this to you before you got to the example. Um, they're kind of teaching you to it as part of the example. Um, so we're looking to um, identify corresponding angles, alternate exterior angles, alternate interior angles. Um, and we're going to also want to add uh, same side interior angles to their list. So corresponding angles, if we click it, it shows us all the corresponding angles. So the idea here is that we have a transversal, which is a line that is cutting through and intersecting. So here's our transversal, the line created by the snowmobile. Um, is intersecting these two blue lines here, right? These other two tracks. And we're creating angle pairs. So corresponding angles, um, if we look here at five in purple, um, five is in the upper left. Um, so it's going to, the angle pair, the angle that's corresponding to that one is going to be in the same location. So it's also going to be in the upper left. So one and five would be a pair of corresponding angles. They're both in the upper left, right? You have two different intersections um, and they're in the same location of those two different intersections. So five and one are going to be corresponding. They're in the same corresponding location. If you pick up one intersection and you place it on top here, right? Five is going to be on top of one. So they're corresponding. Okay. Eight here in red is going to be on top of four. So they're corresponding. Okay. Six here is going to be on top of two. So in the, they're both in the bottom left. They're in the same corresponding location. Um, and then seven and three would be your last pair. Okay, so those are corresponding. They're in the same corresponding location, same general, general location here. Okay, let's draw our line back in. Let's draw it straight, though. Okay, so we got our transversal and we got our two lines that are being intersected. Okay, the next one is alternate exterior. So if we were to click on alternate exterior here, um, they're showing us that there's two sets of alternate exterior angles here. Um, two is going to match up with, or is going to be alternate exterior with uh, eight, right? And so you don't really need to memorize this. It's all in the name, alternate. So the alternate part is referring to the transversal. They're on alternate sides of the transversal. The two is on the left side, the eight is on the right side. They're on alternate sides and they're exterior because they're outside of these two uh, lines here, the two lines that the transversal uh, intersects. So alternate sides of the transversal, exterior because they're outside of the two lines. They're on the exterior, okay? And then three and five as well, right? Three is on the right, five is on the left, uh, so they're on alternate sides of the transversal, and they're exterior because they're on the outside. So that's alternate exterior. Um, we can imagine alternate interior is going to be very similar, except they're going to be on the inside instead of the outside. So let's look at alternate interior. Right? They highlight them here for us. Um, seven is on the right side of the transversal. One is on the left side, and they're both between the two blue lines here. They're both between the two lines that are being, that's being intersected by the transversal. Okay, so they're on alternate sides of the, right, this is the transversal. So they're on alternate sides of the transversal and they're interior because they're between these two blue lines. So alternate interior. And then your other pair would be four and six, right? Four and six are alternate sides. Four is on the right, six is on the left. And they're interior because they're between the two blue lines here. Okay, and then the last one we want to add, because they did not um, put it on there, but we do need to know it. I don't know why they left it off. Is going to be same side interior. So same side, also known as consecutive interior. So if you see the word consecutive interior, Right, it's also known as consecutive. Interior angles. Okay, so those are exactly again right in the name. So we're going to have same side of the transversal and interior. So six and one. Right, those are same side of the transversal. They're both on the left and they're interior because they're between the two lines. 
Um, and then you have um, four and seven, right? What four would also match up with seven. Those would be same side interior. Okay. All right, um, that's good for your angle pairs.